Okay, here we have a 920, uh, 920i right here with an analog output. That analog output is tied into this precision digital panel meter. And here we have a meter tied in series with our analog output so we can measure what we're getting. Um, so we'll take this as an example as we've just uh, replaced a rice leg weight indicator at a uh, customer site and we tied into the old analog output and now we're scratching our heads trying to figure out how we set it up and make uh, the numbers on the display match the numbers on the PLC or the HMI or whatever auxiliary device there is that's displaying weight or needs to capture the weight. Um, so right now we have zero pounds and we have negative 1246 um, pounds on our meter and we're also reading 0, 0.0 milliamps on our output so what we're going to do is we're going to go into the 920 setup um, all these 920s are just about the same we want to find the analog output menu um, it's going to ask us for a source we want a source out of scale one it's going to ask us for a mode we want to make it gross mode and not net mode offset this is a very important one um, offset if you go from 0 to 20 milliamps you want a 0 percent offset because you have 0 to 20 milliamps if you want a 4 to 20 milliamp you go to 20 percent offset so we are going to select 20 percent offset because we are going to set this up for 4 to 20 milliamp um, error act this is the action at what the output does in an error it can either hold um, its current position before the error. It can either give you a zero scale or whatever the output would be, you know, four milliamps if, if the scale was zero, or full scale, um, which would be 20 milliamps at, or the maximum output at, um, the, at the span of this, which we'll get into soon. Min, here's the minimum weight that we're tracking. Um, if that weight was a negative, here's the maximum weight we're tracking. And then here's if that weight was a negative. So right now our panel meter is scaled for 0 to 5,000 pounds. So this max, we're going to make sure that is set to 5,000. So basically at 0 pounds um, in our minimum, we are going to output 4 milliamps. And then at our max, we are going to output 5 uh, or a max is 5,000, we're going to output 20 milliamps. Uh, next, we have TW0 and TW span. Um, these are super important for adjusting an analog output. Um, this gets you finely tuned. So let's click on TW0. Okay, um, so on TW0, we have minus 24. Um, so this is, well, what our indicator would be outputting via analog output at zero pounds um, and here we have a number on some of these units you can just push the up and down arrow key to increase or decrease uh, the number uh, but basically we're going to play with this number um, in here to make sure that this precision digital panel meter is zero at that current time so right now we're at minus 24 so um, this is counts but I don't really have a counts to analog output ratio or no easy math I can do to figure this out. So we're just going to um, intelligently increase this number. So I increased it to 60. We got minus minus 22. So a 20 pound increase gave us about 2 pounds. Let's just try 200 this time. 200. Back to tweak 0. Minus 11. We're close. Let's go 500. Back to tweak zero. Okay, 500 was too much. We need to go down a little bit. Back to zero. Six, we're close. Let's go 350. Back to zero. One pound. We are so close. All right, let's go 345. Go back to zero. One. Okay, let's go 340. Back to TW0. There we are, right at zero. So basically, we just adjusted our zero point or the output that our scale would be at at zero um, to match the screen. So right now we have a one. Let's just give that a little bit more. Let's go 337 to make that a zero. So right now, right now we have zero. 
and we are in TW0, so whenever we're in TW0, we're going to be outputting 4 milliamps or 0 milliamps or uh, 0 volts, depending upon how your output is set up. Um, so yeah, so we've just adjusted our um, 0. Um, as you can see also over here on our meter, we have 3.9... 3.9, so we have 4 milliamps. Uh, this meter is set up for current, and we're measuring the, the milliamps in series right now. So right now we have 4 milliamps. Um, what we did, we adjusted the TW0 number to finely tune that milliampage to make this a zero on our display. So now if we go over to TW span, um, you see we don't have, um, before we set up our maximum span weight at 5,000, so basically this should be set up as 5,000 as well. Um, here we have 19.55 milliamps, so basically we're going to play with this TW span number and make this display say 5,000 because that's how we are scaled to. Um, so let's adjust this to 60,100. We're getting closer. Let's try this again. 61,000. Let me see what that does. Oh, we're close. Again, you can see we've gone from 19.55 to 20 milliamps on there as well. Um, so we're pretty close. We just got to calm down a hair. Okay, you can see 5,002, 5,001. We're getting close, just one pound. We got to iron out of there. Let's go with 69.45. And here we go. 5,000 pounds, and we adjusted that in TW span. On a 480, it would be TW span or whatever, um, whatever inside the menu sounds like TW span. Too many abbreviations, nothing's really spelled out that well. Um, now over in Air Act, so if we go over back to Air Act, um, we're, as you can see when we're in this menu, um, we're getting 19.97 milliamps. So right now, while being in the config menu, the indicator thinks that we are in an air condition, which technically we are in an air condition because we're not in a weighing condition. Um, so right now, um, since that's set to air, um, the air act is set to full that means we're going to be outputting our maximum output when this indicator gets into an error all right so we're going to save and exit let's see how good we did standby all right um so we have 27 and we have zero, and we have 4.07 milliamps. Maybe when we adjusted our our maximum output, that may have changed our zero. So let's go back to TW zero. Ah, it's at 27 now. Okay, so something must have shifted, and we're at 4.07, which was higher than when we exited last time. So we're gonna bring this down. Let's bring this down to you know, 300. Go back and check our zero. 24, that's still high. Okay, let's bring that to 100. So we're just going to play with the numbers until we get to a good spot. Okay, we're just about there. Okay, so now at zero, we've readjusted. We're pretty close. So we've just adjusted TW0 to make that say zero again because we just adjusted TW span. Let's go back to TW span. TW span 5000. Okay, so let's save and exit and let's see what happens again. All right, we have zero pounds, and we have zero on our display, and we have 3.99 milliamps. 
Let's adjust our weight. 703 pounds, 703 on the display, and 6.23 on the current meter. Ooh, this is pretty close. Oh, there we go. Um, 1406, 1406, 8.84. So let's just go 2812, 2812. And now finally up to our 5,000. Now you'll notice that. Um, we're in the overload condition, so right now we have an, an error condition. I don't have a simulator that can dial a nice number a little bit past 5,000. But you'll notice that the display stops reading after we reach 5,000. It no longer reads anymore. So we're at 5,001, we're at 5,000. Let's go back down again. Thirteen. It's taking the display a little bit to 2010, 2011, 2012, 2109, 1406, back to zero. So now our 920s scale output matches and is configured and calibrated to the display up there.